Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Hermela, and if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video. It would help me out quite a lot. And also go ahead and subscribe to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I am finally giving you guys a curly hair routine from start to finish, and it's been a while since I feel like I've done a hair video. But I'm gonna be showing you in the shower, out the shower, styling, diffusing, etc. All in today's video I hope you guys enjoy it I'm gonna show you exactly how I get these results after I've just gotten a curly cut at Weezo salon so I'm so excited to show you guys how I style this new cut so if you guys are interested continue watching and I hope you guys enjoy all right guys let's jump into this wash day my hair is super dirty and oily it's filled with lots of product from my last wash day so I like using the ordinary's glycolic acid which is an exfoliant to help get rid of all that buildup and help with the flakiness on my scalp I apply it evenly and and really rub it in so it's evenly distributed I like to leave it in for about 15 to 20 minutes before I jump in the shower some weeks I do feel my scalp is filled with lots of buildup dirt and oil so I do like to go in with the waze detox shampoo it has key ingredients like apple cider vinegar which helps to clarify and detox my scalp it really helps with oiliness shine as well as flaky dry scalps in the winter there's literally not one wash day where I go without using my tangle teaser scalp exfoliator I love how gentle it is on my scalp and it really helps to get all the buildup out of my scalp. It's gentle and I love using it when I shampoo my hair. Now that my scalp is squeaky clean, I do like to use the double shampoo method and go in with a hydrating shampoo. This one from Moroccan Oil is my absolute favorite. Not only does it smell good, but it's infused with argan oil and argan butter, so it really helps to hydrate and moisturize my hair. Overall, guys, I really love the hydrating shampoo and conditioner from Moroccan Oil. It's one of my favorite duos on wash days, and as you guys can tell, I'm almost out of the conditioner, but but I love how it leaves my hair smoother and way easier to detangle on wash days. To detangle, I love using my Tangle Teaser Detangler hairbrush. It's gentle and really helps to prevent any breakage and it's perfect to use in the shower. Depending on the week, I like to switch my deep conditioners and I am going to be using the Waze Hair Treatment Mask for thick hair. It's perfect to leave in for about 10 to 15 minutes while you wash the rest of your body and it leaves my hair super moisturized and ready to be styled. Before moving on, I wanted to show you guys how much hair I lost during that entire process and as you guys know it's normal to lose about 50 to 100 hairs a day and since we only wash our hair about once a week you tend to see it all on wash days so it is normal and you don't need to freak out if you guys have been watching me for a while now you know I absolutely love the Garnier Fruity sleek and shine leave-in conditioner it's one of my holy grails and before applying the product I love to have my hair soaking wet and for my styling cream I love using the Maui moisture curl quench to apply some definition and to get my hair nice and moisturized the Denman brush is something I also cannot live without on wash days I do like to break the product in with the brush first and then go ahead and use it to style my hair. By brushing each section I'm able to evenly distribute the product and then I go back in, pull the Denman brush away from my face and slowly release each curl to prevent any clumping. I repeat the same technique for each section by taking the leave-in conditioner and then applying the styling cream and styling with the Denman brush. To make sure I have the best results I do make sure my hair is soaking wet before applying the product so I do go back and forth between the sink which can be a little bit messy. When it comes to using the Denman brush, the best technique is making sure that sections are not too big. This really helps to prevent any clumping and it gives you the best ringlet curls. In the past, I used to finger coil each section. I just found that took so long. So I'm really happy that the Denman brush has become a staple in my wash days. It's made the biggest difference and I can always guarantee that my results look the best. When moving on to the other sections, I make sure I don't touch my hair after I'm done styling it. I toss it to the back and continue on. This helps to prevent any frizz before I'm done styling and drying my hair. Also, this is so funny to me, but I'm sitting here editing this video and I notice how focused and serious I am during the styling process. It's so funny because I can see it in my face how focused I am. But anyways, um, the back of my hair tends to be the driest, so I make sure to apply as much product. I also rake it in the direction that I want the hair to fall, as well as I I use the Denman brush to go ahead and style it that way as well. When styling the crown of my hair, I make sure to apply as much product as well, and then I go ahead and section it in different areas so that when my hair flips and turns, it's not all laying the same way. So as you guys can tell, I'm picking random sections and not creating straight lines. In the past, I used to section my hair to the right, but then I've noticed it naturally doesn't have a part, so I actually like having it all go to the back um, and also being flexible if I want to choose to part it a certain way. 
Because I got my bangs recut at my appointment, I make sure to style them forward. This gives me nice volume and it frames my face nicely. Now that I'm done with my bangs, I like to scrunch them some more. This is the final results before I apply some gel. I love using the Not Your Mother Sculpting Gel. It has a nice hold and applies really nicely to my hair. Because we're still in the winter months, I don't use too much gel. I just go in and separate any curls that are clumped together. And come summer when there's lots of humidity, I'll probably apply more of the gel product into my hair to prevent some frizz. All right, that process is done. It took about 15 minutes to style my hair. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite, favorite hair dryer. It is the Supersonic dryer from Dyson with the diffuser attachment. As you guys can tell, I flip my hair all to one side, diffuse it for a little bit, and then go ahead and work my way through each section to dry my hair evenly. This Dyson hair dryer is the best investment and has been a game changer on my wash days. It cuts my drying time in half and also does not create too much heat damage. I absolutely love it. It's quality. The diffuser does not fall off. It's magnetic and has a really strong hold. As you guys can see, my technique with diffusing is to prevent as much frizz from happening so I don't manipulate or go too crazy when drying my hair. Once my hair is dried about 80%, I like to wrap it with my silk scarf and silk bonnet. I don't like to touch it without it being 100% dry. So I go to bed with it protected like this and then I like to apply an oil in the morning. Typically for me, wash days tend to happen in the late afternoon or evening so that I can go ahead and sleep, let the curls set, and then I wake up with it being nice and dry and ready to be fluffed out. One of my favorite hair oils is from Moroccan Oil. It's lightweight, not greasy. It also smells good. I go ahead and work it through my hair and then use my hair pick to go ahead and get as much volume, only picking at the roots so I don't disturb the hair pattern. And just like that, my wash day is complete. I can always guarantee amazing results with this routine. The volume, the definition, the bounce, it's all there. And this cut has really rejuvenated my curls. I'll have all the products listed down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.